Good morning all. It's Sunday in the Dordogne and yesterday we had such a wasted day. Um, I had this whole tour planned around um, some of the sort of tourist hotspots so that we could at least see some of the nice villages along the way. So we're going to start with Sarla la Canada and then go down to Rocamadour and just basically there was a whole load of them it was about a four and a half hour trip I had planned and then we started to think about the test that David has before he has to go back to England and I'd assumed that it was still one where you could get you know you just had the number and you could get it by post but it's changed you actually had to have a negative result to get back to England now so we looked on the French website and it gave loads and loads of places, many of which were within reach of where we were going. So we didn't think too much of it. Got to the first one in Sarla la Canada and basically we're told, nope, nobody works on a Saturday. Trawl through all of them and literally there was none that was open on a Saturday or a Sunday and he flies back on Monday. The only option was to go to Bordeaux Airport where there's a permanent queue. You can get one done, but you just queue for it. Well, Bordeaux is two and a half hours away. <laughs> We didn't really have any choice so we got on the payage and drove two and a half hours each way so we literally glimpsed Salah la Canada enough for me to know that I don't want to be anywhere near a place like that I know it's beautiful so I'm sorry for all those that love it but so busy so full of people so full of traffic and I don't know I imagine some of those big tourist towns are often like that so that was quite illuminating in itself and we did take notes of some other places along the way in, um, until we got to the payage that looked nice um, so we did the thing, we came back on the payage, I was exhausted by the time we got back and oh, we didn't, and on the way back he goes, I need a Burger King, we're in France and he needs a Burger King, oh my god. Anyway, I had to succumb to a few um, cheesy balls and I'm so glad I did because we get back to uh, Exido and there's a lovely restaurant we've been recommended um, which has regional food, so we go there assuming it will be alright absolutely full a huge family party so there are another four restaurants in town that's okay we'll go find the other one every single one was shut saturday night and everything shut so another salutary lesson about how it operates in france today i don't know what we're going to do he's still asleep he needs he's been burning the candle at both ends recently and um i can see that so he's very sleepy so i'm letting him sleep and i'm just not sure what to do um how, what we should do today um, how long I should stay here for before I go on because basically I'm working Monday and Tuesday so I haven't really got time to do any more exploring around here what I should explore if I do so up next instalment hopefully there will be some sort of, pl sort of plan